Hey girl, she's Jewish. Come on in. She's back, honey. She's back, honey, like, like Ralph, like, um, Carl Lagerfeld. Hi, baby, it's Peach. Peach Zion. Come on in. You guys, hello, darling. Missed you. So glad the show is back. We're back, honey. After she went to the stage, she took the show to the stage. She's back to the phone. We're all began. Come on in, kids. We've got so much to discuss. I've got my royal brooch. Yes, honey. I was gifted this, I have to tell you about it in a second. I want, I want everyone to come in. Um, we've got to discuss that coronation, honey. Did you guys watch that coronation? I stayed up all night and went to bed at seven o'clock in the morning um, and watched that coronation. Look at her fashions tonight. That's right, darling, fashions novaj. Woo! Woo! Fashion Nova's darling. This your stage show is wonderful. Thank you for that. Yes, my stage show, Total Trash Live on Stage. If you missed it, go to the link in my Instagram because it's on YouTube. It's wonderful. But we're back in on the in the, the apartment now. Carmelo got them jewels. Oh my honey, Carp we gotta talk about that coronation. Thank God I have um you know my blinds broke. So I bought um blackout uh, curtains, which is perfect for that coronation, honey. So I never saw the sun come up. I sit up all night and watch that. I was in and out of consciousness, but I watched it. The tampons. Honey, the, the, the royal family tampons finally got married. They made it official. He had the nerve to get Camilla Parker Boo's crowned queen, honey. The nerve, honey. Ooh, the wire. Camilla Parker Bowles. Let's put a fan to just blow that hair in the wind all night like Beyonce. Yes, honey, child. Listen, we've got so much to get to. And um, first of all, Harry was, at, Harry was at the coronation. The penis cut into the grass. Somebody cut a penis into the grass where they were going to have the concert. Um, Katy Perry couldn't find her seat because that hat was in the way. And um, Harry came and then left. Somebody, they put a, a feathered hat in front of his face on purpose. You know it was. And he couldn't see. You did the penis in the lawn? Good for you, girl. Camilla played the long game. She sure did, honey. I mean, as much as you want to say about Camilla, she was laughing when she got that, that crown on her head, honey, because she knew that she did it. She did it, Joe. Lumina was not in attendance, and we'll get to Lumina. We'll be here out. She'll be coming out shortly. Katie was lost. We were all lost, honey. But Harry came, had to sit behind that feathered hat, and then just left. And then he didn't even, like, he should have been, like, throwing more shade. I, I wanted a yawn. I wanted an eye roll. I love an eye roll, honey. I roll my eyes at everybody. That gives me a headache. Megan, um, Megan Markle wasn't there. She, the Inside Edition has reported that Megan... Do you know what, what Megan was doing? What do you think Megan was doing during the coronation? Megan Markle was on a hike. They were reporting that she was on a hike, but I was like, that coronation was five hours. She was on a fi five hour hike. I can't stand a hike. No, I don't like a hike. I'd rather walk around in circles. I'm usually walking, looking for parking. But the mystery of it all is, who is she? Who is she? Royal fans are convinced Meghan Markle snuck into coronation in disguise. Who is she? Do you think that's Meghan Markle? Honey, did she borrow an old wig from Suits and a mustache? 
being a side chick did pay off for Camilla Parker Bowles, honey. But look, is do we think this is Meghan Markle? No, she wasn't there, honey. She was on a hike. Get off your high course, Megan. Thank you. Who is who is she? Who is she? Who is this person? I love that they think this is Meghan Markle. <laughs> it does look like Michael Jackson. Captain Crunch. Camilla's ex. It's Diana. My God, it probably was Diana. Honey, Diana faked her death and then she finally went to this coronation in this wig. I hope that's the case. I mean, I can't get over how religious that whole ceremony was. They really could give a damn. I mean, they are divorcees and they were having an affairs. They pretended like none of that happened. Ah, oh, drag king, honey. Well, now we know. And knowing's half the battle. Oh, I want to just say to a Total Trash Live viewer, Robert in Rochester, New York, a Total Trash Live fan, a trashy. You know how... Um, Taylor Swift has Swifties and Rihanna has Navies. Well, you know what you guys are? I decided to name you. You guys are trashies. And he gave me this Liberace book. I had it on my live stage show. Your comment about the horse carriage under a bridge killed me. Oh, what are you talking about? I would never say such a thing. You're trying to say that I said, take that carriage to the Paris Tunnel and then we'll call it even? I would never say such a thing. Talk about Charlie, Charles's hands. Honey, Charlie's hands look like two, look like sausages. What's going on there? She needs potassium. Anyone notice how Catherine always chuckles after the black choir sings? Oh, shade. First of all, that black choir, how performative. And you know they got the, all that idea from Meghan Markle's wedding. I mean, they, they're trying to keep saying, they keep saying, oh, Harry, um, Charles wants uh, it to be, you know, diverse. When? Since that Meghan Markle wedding? That's when he decided to get diverse. And then also just throwing a handful of uh, black gospel choirs in? It doesn't cut it for me. He has hot dog hands. Anyway, back to this Liberace book. This is my queen. And uh, thank you, Robert, for getting me this book from Rochester. And this gorgeous brooch from the Avon collection. Look at this. I wore it while I watched the, um, the, the, uh, coronation. I keep wanting to call it a wedding. But in this book, somebody was a big Liberace fan and they kept clippings of newspaper articles about Liberace, who's my real true queen. And he should have been laying in, in state at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. But in one of these newspaper clippings that they kept, because Robert found this at a, um, in Geneva, New York, at a secondhand store. Liberace was released Monday from a hospital where he was treated from, for anemia triggered by a weight loss diet consisting solely of watermelons. Honey, they were trying to say he had a um, watermelon, watermelon diet instead of having AIDS. Oh, the whole thing's, you know, what a, that was a different time. It was very askew. Now, now they have Ozempic. Is that Liberace or Alan Thicke? It is a very Alan Thicke wig. Robert Thicke. Just Thicke. Thick and juicy. Of course, you know, speaking of royalty, it's time for my daughter and co-host, Lumina. My daughter and co-host. <laughs> now, you guys notice something on Lumina? Lumina's has has been has been broke. Lumina got broken. Her foot got broke. She's okay. She survived. She's gone blonde to distract from the missing foot. Intergalactic royalty. Also, her foot's somewhere around here. Lumina, where'd you put your foot? Anyway, I can't find her foot. Coco probably played with it. So there is a mystery involving this. Isn't this disturbing? It's sad. 
I didn't do this to her. <laughs> she was trying to get one foot in the door. Honey, this, this is the mystery about this. Okay, so I was out of town and my mom was watching Lumina and my cat Coco, my daughter, my other daughter. I get a phone call saying that something had happened. Well, Lumina had a balloon tied around her with helium. And it was over here on the shelf. And my mom claims that Coco, my cat, in the middle of the night, attacked the balloon and Lumina fell off and her leg got broken. Well, I have carpeting on this floor, which I don't want. I never, I, I hate carpeting, but what can I do? I'm not royalty. If I was royalty, I wouldn't have carpeting on my floor. And my mom says that Coco did this. I don't have Munchausen, but... Do we really believe that Coco did this? I think that my mother did this. Because my mother has a history of breaking things. I've talked about this. She once short-circuited my landline phone when she cleaned it with Clorox because she says it killed AIDS. And so either Coco did it, my mother did it, or Lumina threw herself off the, um, the shelf. Honey, what happened to you? She says she doesn't know. She, she was sleeping and she woke up and her foot was missing. It's sad. I'm going to try some crazy glue. Is anybody good at fixing alien baby dolls from the, um, uh, the, 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 the um, Ashton Drake collection? Thank you. As a trashy, I'm going to reach out to Ashton Drake Labs. Please help her. Help her! Honey, who did this to, the, to her foot? My mother? Do I need a class action lawsuit against my own mother? Oh, Lumina. It's sad. It makes me sad. Ugh. Whenever I get sad, I need Ozempic. Just a little Ozempic in my tea. Lumina's mini petty is out of the world. I know, girl. Well, Sheila could have done it. Did Sheila sneak into my apartment in the middle of the night? Or was it the woman that's always walking in my hallway and right when she gets to my door, she starts coughing? Was it her? Who did this? Honey, who did this? Who broke? Who broke Lumina? Was it mother? Was it cat? Was it Sheila? We need to figure this out. I will get to the bottom of this. I have all, you know... <laughs> Not gonna, not without my broken daughter's foot. Maybe Lumina is evolving. I don't know. I actually, I think I'm gonna reach out to Ashton Drake and see if they can get me a replacement foot. Honey, the cackling queen has gone silent next door. Was it my cackling queen neighbor that also broke in? That's another suspect. Who would want to hurt Lumina? I just randomly clicked on this. What's going on? Honey, this is what's going on. My alien baby doll's foot is missing, broken. So thanks for ch tuning in to Total Trash Live. Are you a new trashy? Pete's looking well fit these days. Work. Honey, and it's not from Ozempic. <laughs> Oh, so right after my, um, right after my Total Trash Live show here in Hollywood, um, I, um, was whisked away to Las Vegas and, um, to see Usher. Did you guys see that, uh, Usher and Chris Brown got into a fist fight at a roller skating rink? Chris Brown beat up Usher at a party that Usher threw for him. But then they showed Usher at, um, the next day and he had no visible wounds. Was this a publicity stunt for a versus battle? They said Chris Brown beat up Usher on his tour bus after roller skating. Were they fighting on roller skates? Anyway, I went to Vegas to see Usher. I was whisked away by, um, by a hairdresser to the stars slash lover. And he picked me up in a party bus with no party. It was just us. And we went to Las Vegas, honey, and we stayed at the Wynn Encore, which everyone says is the nicest hotel. Well, honey, I thought it was trashy. It felt like I was in a hotel was made out of Florida. Everybody there looked like they were from Florida. And I'm sorry if you're watching this from Florida, but you're in Florida. 
And there's that giant wig of moss coming there still. Where's that wig moss that's going to destroy Florida? Because it should hurry up. I should was trying to show CD to a shitty seat. Good one, honey. Now listen, um, I think that's, so anyway, when I was in Las Vegas um, with my hairdresser to star slash lover, <laughs> he kept playing with my hair. He kept like doing my hair and then like, cause he's a hairdresser. And then like also would he want to paint my nails. And then he went to the Cartier store and then came back and was like, oh Pete, ch look at this ring that he can't afford. And made me put it on that I can't afford. It was a $30,000 Cartier ring. I mean, maybe if I was royalty, and then he make, tells the woman who's showing me the Cartier ring, don't pay attention to my fingernails. <laughs> well, he did them. What a ding dong. Also, then he gifted me these shoky pajama pants from Charlie. Have you ever heard of these? They always have like set men wearing like basically like jock straps and G-strings. So he wanted me to wear these hammer pants. <laughs> around the hotel room. And not even like, I mean, he paid for this hotel suite, so what do I care? But I mean, not even like sexy lingerie. I wanted to wear sexy lingerie or se sexy panties. I wanted to wear sexy panties and uh, Huynh Encore. But instead, I'm wearing hammer pants. Honey, everybody's unhinged, askew. I would've worn them to the Met Gala. Hey, girl. Anyway, that was my time in um, Las Vegas. It was fun. Also, today I got a phone call from Mexico, and then we gotta get to these tabloids. Welcome to Total Trash Live if you're just joining me. If you don't know what this show is, neither do I. Honey, this show we read tabloids. It says King Charles battle with mental illness. The king is crazy. Honey, what about the battle with the toothbrush? She lost. Ooh, shade. Ooh, shade. That's Ozempic. That's Ozempic shade. That's just a prop. There's nothing in it. But there's something in this. <laughs> anyway, Pete Zeiss is a genius. Thank you, girl. Now, I got a phone call today from Mexico. And I knew, I was like, oh, this is a skew. This is a skew. I think something, you know, this is probably some sort of fraud because I saw an inside edition where people are calling people up on the phone and saying that their family members are kidnapped and can you Venmo some money? I was like, so I picked up the phone from Mexico because I have a friend that lives in Mexico City. So I said, maybe he's been kidnapped. Not kidnapped, kidnapped with a hard P like the Halle Berry movie. And I pick up the phone and there's this woman and she's going, ah, da, 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 da. she's speaking in Spanish and she starts, ah. and honey, I just hung up on her. Hope she's okay. What do you think was going on with her? Was she kidnapped? Kidnapped in Mexico. I've never been kidnapped in Mexico, but I was almost kidnapped in New Jersey. Once I was leaving a club in New York City and this guy said he would drive me home. I lived on the Upper East Side. But then he started driving west to Jersey. I jumped right out the car door at the red light. Not gonna take me to New Jersey. Anyway, I was like, is this AI? You know, now they're saying that you can read, they can AI your voice and call you up and, you'll, and tell you, oh, I'm kidnapped. Send me money. If anybody's uh, been kidnapped, don't call me. I'm not going to help you. I'm busy. My, I'm trying to find my daughter's missing foot. She's holding the leg ransom. Was that who was calling me? Well, I don't know. We're just going to have to glue Lumina's foot. I can't find it, though. It was here. Honey, this house is askew. It's unhinged. She's holding the, my, my daughter's foot ransom. Oh, and now they're saying Wendy Williams, um, she's selling all of her belongings and she's going to move to Los Angeles. And um, Sherry Shepard fired Wendy Williams' producers. So that's the Wendy Williams update. She's holding the leg ransom. Honey, we've got to get to these tabloids. But I have so much stuff on this desk. What was everyone's favorite part of the coronation? Did you guys watch that coronation concert with Katy Perry and Lionel Richie? Did he sing Dancing on the Ceiling? Dancing on the Ceiling of Buckingham Palace, honey, that, that ceiling will collapse because that place is a mess. I had a neighbor who literally had no legs and when you drove past her house, 
for some reason, one prosthetic leg was always laying in the front yard, like some kind of lawn furniture or something. Oh. Well, maybe she had trouble getting in and she just threw the leg off. It could be decoration. I mean, where's my, where's Lumina's foot? It makes no sense. How could my daughter's foot be missing? Honey, we gotta get to these tabloids. Are you ready? You just caught the end of the coronation? Well, honey, put a potato on Lumina's stump. Oh, maybe I will. I loved Rose Hanbury sitting directly across from the Waleses. Isn't she the one that slept with Prince William? Well, they're going to talk about this in the tabloids. So we've got to get to it. Here she is, honey. King Charles, battle with mental illness exposed. Talks to plants and his dead uncle, but not Princess Diana. Actually, first will become a werewolf. He can't sleep without his favorite teddy bear. Ugh. But this is where it gets serious. Sh the wedding is off. First of all, I don't believe that she was ever really engaged to, um, as to Sharon Stone on my show said, Cisco. The passion has cooled as Alexander Edwards and Cher work on two albums together. <laughs> Cher recently stepped out without her massive diamond ring. Cranky cougar Cher called off her wedding plans with producer A.E. Edwards after loved ones warned her boy toy was a threat to her $380 million fortune and may be using her to advance his own career. For a while, Cher would follow this guy around like a lovesick puppy, but the blinders seemed to be coming off. Oh, honey, she knows what's going on. She's no fool. She's Cher. Honey, goop. All my clothes reek of court now. Gwyneth is so tired of all the winning. Goopy Gwyneth Paltrow is so exhausted after winning a lawsuit accusing her of a hit-and-run skiing accident. You mean Gwyneth Paltrow? The wellness guru needs TLC stat. Gwyneth has called all her healing experts to help her move on after that awful trial. Simpers a sore. Simpers? She's mentally and physically exhausted. Well, so am I, honey, and it's from that coronation. My sleeping pattern's all off. And dealing with the trauma by cleansing body and soul in ritual ceremonies and burning all the designer clothes she's worn to court, along with all the dark, bad spirits they absorb. Oh, I need to burn some of my clothes, honey. I'm trying to clean out this closet. Is anybody good at organizing? Should I just burn everything? Like, like Gwyneth Paltrow? Look at these two ding-dongs, Kelly and Mark. Live with Kelly and Mark, no one cares. Kelly and Mark are sore losers. Honey, they're just losers. Look how bored they are. I was watching it the other day, and she asked all the questions, and he just sat there. Viewers are already bored with stories of their marriage. Tacky team debuts in the dumpster. <laughs> Gwyneth should simper down. Thanks, Leon. The new live with Kelly and Mark is dead on arrival. That's the verdict of frustrated fans who call the show's married host boring, painful, and hard to watch. Kelly, has, Kelly was never comfortable sharing the stage with previous co-hosts Regis Philbin or Ryan Seacrest. And she wanted to have a showcase for what she believes is her beautiful life. There was some unhinged queen last night. I went, after, I went to see Hairspray Live. Wait, I gotta turn around to tell you this. There was some unqueen. I went to see Hairspray Live last night. Afterwards, then I went to Schmidt's in West Hollywood. There was also a payphone in the back that I, I call, I, I prank call them. But anyway, there was some unhinged queen in the back, honey, that kept talking about how much she hates Ryan Seacrest and that Ryan Seacrest um, gets railed, he kept saying, by black and Latino men, as if it was something negative. Anyway, anyway, back to this. What a ding-dong. Kelly was never comfortable. Okay. The internet was swamped with complaints from former live fans. 
They blasted Kelly for turning the gaffe fest into a way too comprehensive look in a marriage. Blah, 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 blah. Two days in and I'm sick of hearing about their perfect love life and family. It's too much, writes one media, what wrote, writes one of many disgusted social media posters. That's me. I wrote that. After Kelly bizarrely played a tape of her husband snoring, remember the days when Regis went with re remember the days with Regis when real social and news issues were discussed, not bedtime eating and sleeping habits. Also, that reminds me that hair adjusted to the star slash lover that took me to Las Vegas. He recorded me snoring. Honey, leave me alone. I'm unhinged. I was snoring because I was bored. Oh my God, Bill Cosby, she's still on the loose. Blind man's bluff. Sex creep Cosby convinced he'll make comeback. Oh, are they going to give him a television show? And Pudding Pops? Honey, I want, what are those Pudding Pops filled with um, a pop, a pop, a propofol? Disgrace, sex sleaze, Bill Cosby is changing, is clinging to his crumpling dreams of redemption. I don't care about this story. Look at Tom Hanks. Tom Tangled and son Chet's hanky panky. Chet, that's Chet's son. That's what he talks like he's Jamaican. Oh my God, what happened? Hanks, they got into a fight. Oh my God, honey. Beloved movie star Tom Hanks is being dragged into court because of his loser son Chet. First of all, why would they name him his son that? This is the last thing Tom wants to get involved in. The pair have been trading legal blows since January 2021. I, I met Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson when I worked at Club Monaco in Beverly Hills, and they left their keys with the valet, and then the va valet went home and left the keys with us, and I couldn't find them. They found their own keys. I gave them the box and said, look for it. And they did. But honey, that son Chet is unhinged. Dollar purse, bags, fortune. What's this Ding Dong's problem? Britney book is 15, 15 million toxic spill. My favorite Met Gala look was Alton Mason. Blabbermouth Britney Spears is relish, relishing the chance to settle old scores. No one will be spared from her brutal honesty. Oh, honey, this book is never going to happen. First of all, they said she ran out of paper. It's been a major ordeal for Britney to recount her traumatic childhood. She wants to call out the people who wronged her. Christina Aguilera? Also, um, ruthlessly, spears en ruthlessly spears enemies and settles ugly old scores. What a bizarre sentence. Honey, this is the story. Camilla rubs Kate's nose in the dirt. Gives coronation invite to married siren accused of seducing William. Rose Henry is the rumored former mistress of Prince William. The, the marchioness of... What? The marchy... No, the marchioness of... <laughs> Shona Medelli with two of her children. What? Honey, this is unhinged and unskewed. <laughs> I want to say this sentence again. The marchiness of Shirley Murge. Honey, I'm having a stroke. An infuriated Katie told Camilla just what she thought of her and court of a courtier spills. Look at her, she's laughing. The new queen deliberately reopened an old wound in Kate's marriage. Cruel Cam Camilla left Prince William's wife in tears and twisted a dagger deep into Kate's heart by deliberately inviting her husband's rumored former mistress. Sources tell Globe the backstabbing new queen deliberately reopened old wounds. Gloating queen then gleefully told Kate that 39-year-old former model was on the royal guest list. The marchiness of Charlemagne 
Cruel Camilla went for the jugular in her power struggle with Kate. She demanded Rose, the woman who just four years ago was said to have a sizzling affair with Prince William, be invited to the coronation. And to make it worse, she invited Rose's son Oliver because of King Charles's pages alongside Kate's George. Putting Rose front and center on the guest list was like plunging a dagger deep into poor Kate's heart and twisting it. I'm told Kate collapsed and a flood of tears when she learned she'd be facing the beauty brand of the other woman and her husband's life of the royal's biggest day. I'm told she was retaliating not only against Kate but also William, who objected to her plan to give her grown children official roles in the historic coronation. But no one should be surprised at Kimla's evil antics. They seem to know no bounds. Make no mistake, the new queen sees Kate as a royal rival. And the Princess of Wales better keep looking over her shoulder. She's been throwing her weight around, showing everyone who's boss, and making everyone bow down to her. I'm living for this. Also, I hated Kate's outfit. She looked ugly in that flag. Honey, my mother's on here confused and typing my name. Okay, she knows the Princess of Wales has been hailed as the most successful and powerful royal hire ever. But she made it clear she won't let Kate steal her thunder. Honey, no one can steal your thunder. You steal everything from everyone. You stole people's husbands. You stole that crown. Oh, honey, you're the one that steals. Ugh. I can't deal with another Britney Spears story. Britney gives Sam the finger. Braddy Britney Spears is hunkered down with lawyers and plotting an exit. Britney has come back from this trip saying it was bliss from, to be away from Sam and left her at her own devices. It's no secret they've been arguing. Honey, all she does is spin. Spin control. I knew Camilla was not going to like Kate, honey. She's not going to have Kate upstage her. Oh, Mom, I'm going to show you my panties. Now, everyone's saying hi to my mother on this thing, and she's upstaging me. My mother is Camilla Parker Bowles, and I'm Kate Middleton. Gosh darn it. No one's going to steal my crown or my Ozempic. Or my Ozempic. Oh. Anyway. Well, we're all caught up. But honey, this is just the beginning of Camilla's reign of destruction and terror. She's going to be the only one standing. I was, when I was watching that coronation, I'm like, oh my God. Like, are we going to have to do this five years from now? And Prince William is going to be crowned? And Camilla will still be there. And she probably won't relinquish her throne. Oh, Kate Middleton will never get that throne from, uh, will never get that crown and throne from Camilla Parker Bowles. Well, anyway, I hope we all learned something tonight, because I know I didn't. I have to go off to dinner. I have to, um, first of all, I've got to find my daughter's foot. I have to figure out who's calling me from Mexico. And I want a salmon salad. What will Camilla's first edict be? Is that British? Is that more British words that I don't know? Camilla Parker Bowles, honey, this is just the beginning. We're going to have a summer of destruction. First of all, when is this Madonna tour going to start? Because I'm got i ready for that to start. But you guys are all my trashies. I love my Total Trash Live fans. When is the next live show? Uh, well, it's my, the current show is streaming on YouTube. Um, I'll probably do another show this summer. I'll do another show this summer. Who should be my guest? Who should I have as a guest? Some, I should have Camilla Parker Bowles. I would love if I can get Camilla Parker Bowles on Total Trash Live, live on stage. Bowles. Oh, that would be wonderful. I live for it. Yes, honey, the coronation. Are you booked for the dinner rush? Oh, darling. I, I may, you know, I may have an air fryer in here, and every time I use it, the power goes out, and I made some chicken today, and it was so dry and bland. 
oh, if I was royal, somebody would be cooking for me. But alas, she's not. She just has a Burger King crown and a daughter with a missing foot, but a gorgeous wig. And I've got to figure out who did this to my daughter. We will get to the bottom of this, Lumina. You will. Your, your brutal, brutal disfigurement and your kidnap of your foot will be resolved this summer. Have my mom as a guest for your live show? Oh, she wishes. She wishes, honey. She's going to try to upstage me like Camilla Parker Bowles. <laughs> well, tat ta for now, everybody. It was wonderful. I love all of my trashes. Thank you so much for joining me tonight on Total Trash Live. Is that Anna Nicole's wig? Oh, Anna Nicole is my idol, honey. How she got that money from that man. Well, she tried to get that money from that old man. And then that other old man, which is the son. Everybody was so old in that family. They were born old. Took that money away from her. How dare they? Gosh darn it, it makes me so mad. Ta-ta for now. Cheerio. Bye-bye, boys. <laughs>